Now with the rise of modern day street fashion, you'll start to see an evolution and meshing of designer and menswear streetwear outfits from your day to day. What used to be high top shoes and denim has now been replaced with wider fits and boots and loafers. Now don't get me wrong, I love a fresh pair of sneakers and I love sneaker culture. But the fact that these two styles are slowly meshing together is something that I've always been wondering if it's even possible to make the two types of styling work together. But today, we're actually talking about what might potentially replace your everyday sneaker. And it's these penny loafers that I got from GH Bass. GH Bass. Damn it, how did I fuck it up? Shit. Okay, and it's these penny loafers that I got from GH Bass. Let's get started. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Mark Kayabia, I am a men's fashion enthusiast. I love everything and anything related to men's fashion, literally from sneakers, thrifting, upcoming brands, brand news. So literally everything and anything related to making you look good so you can feel good. So if you're into any of that, please like, comment, subscribe, and big favor, let's get to a thousand subs before the new years. So if you find any of this information valuable, I'm here to help you out. But let's jump right in to the video. All right guys, so what I have here is a pair of Weijin penny loafers from GH Bass. And I'm super excited because as you may know, I love loafers. I especially love tassel loafers. And I'm gonna be very truthful with you guys. I never really liked penny loafers because they looked so, so weird, but with the uprise of how these penny loafers are being reshaped and stylized, I'm starting to like slowly get inspired and you know, slowly shift my, my focus from sneakers to a much more casual grown up look, if that makes sense. So with that in mind, let's just go ahead and just start unboxing these shoes. All right guys, so first things first, you have a navy blue and tan box. Um, it's honestly not anything too special to be honest with you guys. You do have the branded colors which I believe is like gold and navy blue. Um, the GH Bass logo is literally everywhere. So gold logo on top. And then you have the blue logos on the side and the front. Now the model that I specifically got for the penny loafers are the Larson Color Block Black and White Weegins. It's a mouthful. So first things first, again, you have the website. Obviously you want to have like a presentable box and at the same time you want to lead people to like, hey, we have more shoes on our website, check it out. But right off the bat, you have the bass um, tissue covering the shoes and let's just open these babies up. And boy, I am excited guys. I'll just take one shoe out because I mean, it doesn't make sense to take out both shoes, but right off the bat guys, uh, you you have the Weijins, uh, black and white. It's super popular. I think ever since Amy Leon Dore came out with their own set of like loafers and like brogues and derbies, like uprise of like those type of styling of shoes have been getting more popularized. As for the leather, um, if you guys are wondering what type of leather it is on the website, they do say it is a genuine leather upper. Doesn't really say what type of leather, but it's it's like your regular leather material as opposed to like patent leather. I feel like patent leather is very, very rough and very shiny, but you have like this glossy finish to it as opposed to like a super shiny patent leather finish or like a matte finish, if that makes sense. And next thing to notice is the beef rolling stitching that is holding the penny holder. Basically, from what I read is that it's the inspiration of like chefs cooking a slab of beef and they get like cooking string and they just wrap the beef around. I feel that's what GH Bass is known for is having that beef rolling stitching holding the penny holder. It looks like you do have like this nice 
cork material on the inside. It tells you what model penny loafer you have on the tongue of the shoe. It does say Bass Larson color block. Other than that, inside the shoe you have obviously the branding, which is the original penny loafer, Weegens, GH Bass & Co. Now as for the bottom part of the shoe, you have like this nice brown leather covering the bottom part of the shoe. And you obviously have the branding of the company, which says handcrafted leather Weegens, GH Bass & Co. Established, established, I'm sorry, 1876. And you do have like this Bass logo on the actual heel part of the penny loafer. But it looks like the heel part that is closer to the actual bottom sole of the shoe is the grip part of the actual loafers. So if anyone wants to chime in on what material is used on the bottom part, please feel free to do so because I'm interested in learning more about like the material that is used. And the part that is furthest away from the actual bottom sole of the shoe looks like just your regular leather part so it does not have any gripping whatsoever. Now as for the pricing of the shoe, this actually costs $110 on their website. But be quick because this actually goes pretty dang fast. Believe it or not, I got the last seven and a half pair of the black and white Weegens. And looking at their website recently, it said that more sizes are available, but will be shipped towards the end of October. So hop on it guys, if you guys are interested in getting these shoes. But yeah, that's the basic construction of the shoe. On to the next section. All right guys, so I got this in a seven and a half, and that is my true to size, like no matter what shoe, you like always go seven and a half, you want it to fit nice. But this has been my first time ever coming across a shoe that is a bit too tight for me. And I think the reason why that is, is because of the narrowness of the shoe. Now, don't get me wrong, um, I've had Cole Haunt before when I was really into like dapper wear and men's wear and those fit perfectly considering how thin Cole Haunt makes the actual tasseled loafers. But as for the penny loafers from the GH Bass, I feel like it would probably be best if you like it a little bit loose for you to go up at least one full size or if you want it to be a little bit much more snug than your true to size, I'd probably go half a size up. In my example, if I like it a little bit loose, I would honestly go for an eight and a half. But if I were to go true to size, I'd go half a size up. I know the website says that it fits true to size, but to be truthfully honest with you guys, and for me, I have like narrow feet. I don't have wide feet. But for this to fit pretty tight on my feet is surprising because I thought I had pretty dang narrow feet. But that goes for the sizing. Sum it up. One size up if you like it a little bit loose. Half a size up if you want that true to size fitting. On to the next section. Now for styling guys, I feel like for these shoes, you can wear this three out of four seasons within the whole year. Obviously, you're not going to wear this when it's like super raining or if it's like snowing. Now, being a shorter guy, the general rule is to wear clothes that hug tighter to your body. And me being a big fan of like crop pants, um, you could always wear these with crop pants, right? Or like let's say with the uprise of like wider fits, you can even wear these with wider fit pants and a wider fit. Now these specific pairs, I did not get the super lug uh, version or even the lug version. So it has a much more menswear-esque look to it. Nonetheless, I feel like you could still wear this with wider fits, uh, crop fits, uh, even with shorts, right? So it's a super versatile shoe and just being able to figure out what your style is and what you personally like and being able to incorporate what other people are wearing into your own fashion is a way for you to style these shoes. Me personally, um, summertime I'm wearing these with shorts, I'm wearing these with cropped pants whenever I feel like having that street smart look 
And with the uprise of like wider fit clothes, I personally feel like I will be wearing it with like wider pants as well. Now you guys are probably wondering after this long review, are these shoes worth it? And I'm going to say 200% yes. And these are three reasons as to why. Now you guys are probably wondering, are these shoes worth it? And I say 200% yes. And here are three quick reasons as to why I believe these shoes are a 200% yes. The first being is that it is a classic silhouette and it's versatile. Let's say if penny loafers do go out of style because I feel like it is much more of a trend than an essential, you do have the possibility of wearing these pair of shoes to a formal setting as well. And the second reason is with how fashion is now and how people are wearing streetwear with high-end designer menswear pieces, I feel like this is like literally the perfect shoe to mesh your style with modern day styling. And the third reason as to why I 200% believe that these shoes are worth a cop is because of the price point guys. This is only like 120 bucks with like shipping included if you're from the United States. Uh, but with like other brands like Emilion Dor where they're charging around like 200 40 bucks for a pair of penny loafers and then you also have a company called Blackstock and Weber which is known for making high quality loafers for a price point of like $300 and probably like other designer brands where they're creating the same loafers with like different materials or like better material for like even more so at a price point of like 110 bucks just to have a nice pair of loafers whether you want this classic look to it or even the lug look to it i think it's worth it if i wish they could change anything about this shoe is that i wish they had like a pebble leather look to it i although i am a fan of like you know shiny leather as opposed to like pat patent leather or like rough leather or like all those other like matte leather material i feel like that pebble look on a penny loafer is so classy and just looks super sick with that small detail onto the shoe. But in conclusion, uh, I hope you guys find this video valuable. Um, I'm a big fan of loafers, as you can tell, one of my most viewed video, top performing video are the Adrian loafers and I love those pair of shoes. I still wear it till this day. And I think that's like a pair of like chunky shoes that I don't think that I'll ever let go until like the chunky shoe era has like ended. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these shoes. What other brands have you guys been taking account of? Uh, let me know in the comments below and make sure you guys follow the gram where I show behind the scenes. People on Instagram do see the shoes that come to my closet before anyone else. I even show you behind the scenes my day to day and just you know overall more valuable information that i can just put out quickly as opposed to making like this this youtube video quality i guess you could say but other than that i'm out here please like comment subscribe your boys out and we out